Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about a video of a British F-35 B fighter jet crashing into the sea. It's not related to Chinese military, but considering China is building more aircraft carriers and J-35 carrier bomb fighter just took first flight, I feel it's worthy talking about the video from Royal Navy. The video is leaked on social media platforms on 30th November. The stealth fighter went down from ski jump of HMS Queen Elizabeth and crashed into the sea. The video shows a Royal Navy F-35B fighter fail to take off from the aircraft area. It's not 100% certain that this video is genuine, but most people believe it is a real footage of the accident occurred on November 17th. In the video, we can see that a F-35B fighter jet can be clearly seen with an opened lift fan cover. The cover is on the top of the fuselage. When F-35B is taking off, the cover needs to be open. The main engine nozzle is rotated downwards, which is correct. The fighter then glides forward across the ski jump at very low speed, and then apparently not gaining enough thrust or lift or forward speed. Within seconds, the F-35 crashed off the edge of ski jump, fell into the ocean. When the plane reached the edge of the ski jump, the pilot ejected, and this video briefly showed the pirates perish. It was reported that the pilot is safe and well. That's good news. The Ministry of Defense has not denied the authenticity of the video and has not confirmed either. So this F-35 fighter jet that crashed into the sea was one of the eight F-30Bs. The carrier also carries 10 U.S. Marine Corps F-30B fighters. The fighters and the aircraft carrier conduct their first combat cruise in recent months. The mission covers East Asia, the Indian Ocean, and the Mediterranean. In an exclusive report published by The Sun on November 23rd, the cause of the accident was described as staffs forgetting to remove a plastic cover from the plane. The cover was supposed to be removed before takeoff, but it was left on the plane. Some people think it may be the cover of the lift fan, but others believe that such a mistake could not have happened because of the size of the cover. So questions have been raised about whether a small cover on one of the sensors had not been removed. So not the lift fan large size cover, but a smaller cover. The Royal Navy has not commented in details uh, on this particular report. Other analysts noted that the pilot appeared to have tried but failed to brake to slow down the fighter jet. Some pointed out the pilot tried to change the angle of the engine nozzles, perhaps to prevent the jet from sliding towards the end of the speed jump. But I think the video is um, too blurry to make a judgment on this particular point. The video shows deck staff initially are all at their normal working positions, watching the jet taking off. But when it became apparent the jet was moving too slowly, some of them started running, possibly realizing that the accident was inevitable and activating the process to rescue the pilot. It's also worth noting that the video shows how wide the deck of aircraft carrier is. There's plenty of room on one side of deck for a few F-30B fighters to park and for the crew to move around and also for one F-30B to take off. In any case, British flying activities did not stop after the accident. All F-30B fighters continued their flight training, including the US Marine Corps fighters, and they worked with the Italian as well. This could be a clear signal that the root cause of this crash was already clear to everyone on board at the time. So more importantly, it showed that the accident was highly unlikely due to technical issues. That's why Royal Navy immediately decided to go ahead with more training activities. So if indeed a sensor cover caused the accident, someone of course will need to be held responsible. The cost is extremely high. F-30B easily exceeds 100 million US dollars. The Royal Navy only have eight of them. Now one of them is gone. And that is all for today. So please subscribe, share and comment. Thank you.